Many people admire hip hop, but not everyone can interpret hip hop. This takes a certain sight, and many people are simply too afraid to go where hip hop originates from. In both a physical as well as a mental sense, they admire and enjoy rap music, but are afraid to live and seek out hip hop's true lifestyle. Know this. In fact, our early let me days, tell you something. Why they know they use a navigator for Nigeria? Because then they try to understand the kind of language we go go on top of the navigator. You see, if they put a Yoruba person voice for the navigator, now so the person go they talk. Hey, most of you turn right or they turn left to kill all day, all day, all day, all day, all day, ah, oh, yeah, do trick calculation, oh, yeah, you can dance, go turn right, oh, low, do. If they put Igbo man voice for navigator, now the way you go they hear. In fact, Onyara, I told you to turn right, but you went to turn left. Now, this is root recalculation, bros. Turn back, turn right, right now. In short, as an Igbo man, you are not supposed to monkey like that. If they can't go put our man voice for navigator, now they tell you go to here. Well, I tell you, what is wrong with you? Ho? I tell you, for you make you turn up for right, you go to turn up for left. Root calculation, turn back, turn right. Kai, damn over. As a result of the 70s experience, we, the youth of this age, developed inner city survival strategies that were to enhance the quality of inner city life. Survival strategies such as street language, street fashion, street knowledge, Street entrepreneurships, breaking, emceeing, graffiti art, DJing, and beatboxing saved many. Still, many of us suffered the same fate as our parents. Our whole generation was labeled X because we were doomed for failure and had already been written off by the mainstream of the 70s. 